Hello everybody. I'm here making a video to, well, it's a test. I want to see if I've got figured out what's going on with my YouTube videos. Why some play, why some don't. I started looking at um, why that one video worked and the other three or four didn't and I think I got it figured out. So I'm putting this one up to see if I can replicate it. If it replicates, then I know what's wrong and I can get a hold of YouTube and say, fix this, dang it. Okay? And I know it's not what I'm doing because, well, I have got over 200 videos up on YouTube. That's not trying to brag or anything. It's just saying, with 200 videos, I think I know what I'm doing by now. You know, if I'd put up only, like, three or four videos, and I could see why they're not working. But 200, you know, and it could be something I'm doing. But 200, no, it's not something I'm doing. It's something YouTube's doing. Especially when I have one video up and I stop and reload one. I put one video up, it worked. I pulled it down, reloaded it, and it didn't work. That tells me it's something on YouTube's end of things, not mine. But anyhow, I digress. This is going to be a short one simply because it's a test. Now, let's put some useful content in this, shall we? I'm in what is soon to be my little model building room, okay? It's a spare bedroom in the house. I live alone, okay? Do have a girlfriend, hands three and four, okay? And this room is, it's small and it's always been kind of a problem, all right? I have a serious lack of storage space and I'm about to show you guys why, all right? And I'm going to do this, this is my second take on this, because the first take, I'm jerking the camera around way too much, way too quickly, so you can hardly see what's going on with the camera. So here we go, I'm going to turn the camera around, not facing me, start showing you guys what's going on. We got the door over here. There, yes, there's a child gate. That isn't to keep kids out, it's to keep cats out. It doesn't work with Thundercat, who's sitting right out there. And it doesn't work with Tomodachi. It works with the old one, Kitty Critter. She thinks carpet is grass and it's for peeing on, so I got child gates to keep her out. She's not where she can get in here right now. Speaking of cats, Thunder's going to slowly creep in here with us. This, this uh, bookcase right here, has got some stuff on it. It's got mainly my spares bin, which is right here. Okay. Some landscaping stuff, terrain work, another spares bin at the bottom, and a lot of my resin uh, update stuff. You know, like I got some minions. I have some flying sub pilots. I have a Vorlon fighter. I got a Vorchon cruiser. That's from Babylon 5, by the way. I have Louie. I have a Nebulon B, okay, and there's some other assorted odds and ends here, like uh, Olympic class starship, scale model attic calendar, which is going up on the wall in a few days. Here we have a conversion for a Star Trek ship. We have Thundercat climbing behind the door. Behind the door, we have some discarded, well, not discarded, just not used picture frames. And then we have the Graf Zephalon on top of there and a couple of uh, Mach-A kits. Here we have the old spray booth. Didn't mean to turn the exhaust fan on. We have a Spider-Man bubble bath bottle. That's getting primered. And I'm going to work with my two new airbrushes on this. One of the airbrushes I won in the contest over at Scale Model I had a glass spring. The other airbrush I bought because I found it at like a quarter of its normal price. Here we have the Deslox Command Cruiser. It is almost ready for color coats. I just have a few spots yet to touch up on her with sanding. Found a few rough spots on I keep finding rough spots, so sooner or later I'm just going to call it quits and paint it, color coat it. But anyhow, it's almost ready for color coats. And once it gets color coated, it'll go quick. Some TI-83 calculator cases I'm painting. There's the old protector from gosh galaxy quest it took third place in a local model show um i actually lost second place was one of my models was a godzilla diorama but that's neither here nor there um some more models stuck in the corner along with the exhaust vent i just took that out the window when i'm spray painting here and we have a desk we have the nightlight I'm making for hands three and four. It is almost done. It just needs another gloss uh, seal coat on it. And I'm using the tongue well right there to seal coat it. 
we have a computer monitor and a few other things. All Most of this is going to get changed up. I'll explain that in a few minutes. We have a few books over here, reference books, and a few of my older models, like an old uh, Vulcan shuttle. That's the original one. I made that 20 years ago. There's the Thunder Child. I don't put it on the stand because the stand is messing up the paint on it. Here we have a few other old models that I never finished this from like 20 years ago. Okay. I still don't know what this thing is right here. Never did figure that out. Just found it in the Jap in a model shop once. All the directions were in Japanese and I just put it together. Okay. I don't know if any of you remember these guys from when you were a kid. I've got like three or four of them. We got a Thundercat in here underneath this dog thing, a Biotron. An old original adding machine. Just and it works. That's functional. No batteries required to add numbers with that thing. Then we're getting to the Tower of Models. This is about half my model stash. And this thing's kind of deep. Okay. Speaking of model stash, this was a recent acquisition. The SR71 Blackbird Egg Kit. And it's got my name on it, and you can see what I paid for it. Okay. The egg plane edition of the SR-71. More models in the stash. This thing goes all the way up to the ceiling. As you can tell, there's some interesting things in this little stash, and I'm not going to go through everything in it. I can't, because when I come over here to the side, you can see how far back that goes. These, this thing is just deep with models. Okay? Ma K collection right there and then we got this shelving here and this table here now I'm working on getting this set up for my model building room and more models there all right even more fun the closet more models it is nothing but models in this closet and they go all the way to the ceiling can you tell I am not married Yes, you're seeing right. There is an Enterprise NX up there, 1350 scale. Right underneath it's a 1500 scale Yamato. Space Battleship Yamato. Let me get that correct. There's a flying sub kit. A few other things in here. Space 1999 Moon Base. This is an SR-71, 148 scale. And yes, that is a studio scale X-Wing. I'll have to do a review of that kit pretty soon. Not going to get to build it for a while. But anyhow, that's just, and there's some Gundam kits in there too if you guys are paying attention. Bunch there. There's a master grade Gundam wing right there. All right. Now, I'm giving you guys this tour because I'm about to tear all this out of here and completely redo the entire room. There's going to be some work. I've got a four day weekend coming up in two weeks, and I'm going to do that over the four day weekend. What prompted this is that pile right there. I got a $200 gift card at Office Depot, and I buy a lot of stuff at Office Depot for my business, and I'm a member of the rewards program, and in addition to the $200 gift card, I got that furniture at almost half price, so I paid $300 for $1,000 worth of furniture, and I'm going to completely remodel this room with that furniture. So that desk is going to go, these bookcases here are going to go, that bookcase may or may not go, I haven't figured that out yet. This table will probably stay, that bookcase will probably go, it may not. i got to talk to hands three and four. She's not the boss, but I value her advice quite severely. This bookcase is going to stay, they've got two companions to that bookcase, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with that. They're in another room. This is going to definitely stay, and it's going to get moved over closer to the window. Because that desk is going to give me more access along here, so I can put this right up next to the window, finally. Okay? The little tiki guy is staying. The Easter Island head is staying, wearing the Guinness cap. No fear of that. Some of this artwork's probably going to go, because there isn't going to be room for it in here anymore. Alright? So... This should at least be something of a worthwhile video to you guys, because at least you can see some of the stuff in my stash, some of the stuff I have for model building supplies, and I've got to severely remodel all this stuff, get it all put away properly, oh yeah, General Splatten, told you someday I'm going to get to figure painting, I actually bought a figure painting set, 
Hands 3 and 4 thinks I should do that sometime soon. Maybe I can get her hooked on that too. She, not for a while. She hasn't got any free time right now. Maybe this summer I can. But anyhow, I digress. I need to go. I'm going to quit waffling or rambling or just spewing word vomit out of my mouth, depending on your look at it. I've got plenty of things to get going around here. This is the book that really got me into modeling when I was in high school, by the way. I did some scratch building after reading that book. It's not real good because it's really basically about model rockets with a very little bit about building models. One of the fun things about it, though, is it actually has some uh, electronics tutorial to it. And it does tell you how to scratch build. This book is old and beat up. But it did do some electronics, and it used a 555 timer chip. Oh, there it was. Yeah, it talks about lighting your models, and it talks about a 555 timer chip right there. Okay. Funny that. That was the first lighting circuit I ever built. Never put it in a model. I still have that circuit around here someplace, though. Interesting little book. I got that when I was about tw 12 or 13, I think. And I'm sure it's long out of print. And I wouldn't say go track it down because it's mainly about model rockets. All right, just to let you guys know. I'm looking for the copyright date. 1979. So now you have an idea how old that is. And it was mainly about building model rockets. Anyhow, I digress. I've got a lot of things to get going on tonight and a lot of things to do tonight. Thundercat. Thunderpaws. Hey, you. Thunder. Thunder. You want to look up for the camera? Thunder, are you in a talkative mood today? Hmm? You gonna talk to me? Are you? You gonna get the camera for me? Yeah, there we go. Say goodbye, Thunder. Say goodbye. All right, folks. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go put this up and see if I found my problem. If I found my problem, I will explain what it is. And there's Tomocat right there. Tomo and Thunder look a lot alike. I think some of you were confusing them on the uh, videos because he is usually sitting in the chair beside me in the videos. This guy is. And this is definitely not Thundercat. This is Tomodachi. Okay? He's sitting on my new furniture for my office. Anyhow, guys, I will be back later. Right, Thunder? Bye.